AI. So I do, I, I do want to hear from you. Come back on Saturday and let me know how many times people said AI to you. And I think we can make a drinking game, or we're in California, you either have to take a shot or a bong hit every time someone at the show says AI. We do not have any self-playing guitars, but we do have an artist to play the guitars. I came to the first NAMM show in California. I was going to UCLA, it's gotta be 46, 47 years ago. It was at the airport. The first NAMM show in Los Angeles was at the airport, and it worked. That's when the NAMM show was in Chicago and in the summer. Hey, people might want to come to California in the winter. Good timing, the Christmas selling season was over. Dealers might have some change in their pocket they want to spend. Then they came out here and, and started at the Disneyland Hotel. We're the biggest convention in Anaheim. How cool is that? We've been here every year. We're going to be here every year. So throughout my career, we sell, I love to celebrate anniversaries. And at the company, we celebrate anniversaries for our coworkers. Congratulations. You survived a year at Martin Guitar. Stick around. Congratulations, you survived five years, 10 years, 15 years. Once in a while, once in a while, and I'd scratch my head and go, oh my gosh, how did that happen? We would celebrate a Martin co-worker's 50th anniversary with the company, and now it's my turn. I've been with the Martin Guitar Company officially for 50 years. How about that? I know, it's pretty cool, right? And I'm very fortunate because I have hair that, just by its nature, hides my receding hairline. So I thought, what can we do to celebrate that milestone? And I remember a guitar that we built a couple of years ago. Which are you going to play? Which one are you going to play? Okay. So I remember, you know, like, like when we had the 190th anniversary last year, how about that, right? November 6, 190 years ago last year, my family stepped off the boat and decided to stick around and start a guitar business. We made the D19. I thought, what could, how could we make a connection between our history and our heritage and my 50th anniversary? And I thought, you know, we made a guitar a couple years ago that turned out to be relatively successful, the D50. So we've reintroduced the D50. Now, where's Mitchell? All right, Mitchell, I know you're not going to want me to say this, but it would be wonderful. We're going to make 50 of these if we sold all 50 in the next couple of days, but we can't make all 50 at once. So I've already ordered number 50, so we only have 49 more to go. But it's pretty cool in the vein of the previous D50. Lots of bling. I love, I love Pearl, right? So that's very cool. You know, hold that just for a second. Anna. And then I thought, all right, it's very important to also acknowledge our sister facility in Navajoa, Sonora, Mexico. This year is the 35th anniversary of us making strings and guitars in our facility in Navajoa. So I wanted to not only honor my colleagues in Nazareth, but my colleagues in Navajoa, So, a couple of, I'm going to dish share a little bit. Uh, a couple of years ago, maybe it was around the Great Recession, I don't remember exactly, but and this happens periodically. It happened at the end of the, of the COVID-induced guitar boom that, you know, all of a sudden you might have a little more inventory than you need. And it's coming up to Christmas, and we always like to traditionally give a Christmas bonus and it was one of those situations where, you know, we actually, we have more guitars than cash right now. And I thought, well, rather than, cons you know, dip into the cash pool that's not as big as it was before whatever happened happened, why don't we give everyone an LX1 as a Christmas gift? Every, all the coworkers in Nazareth get an LX1. Because we had some LX1s in inventory. 
And I thought, all right, what can I do to make it special? I'm going to sign them. And the way I sign a guitar that's already made is I loosen up the strings, I move them out of the way, I reach inside and delicately sign C.F. Martin IV. So I make this announcement and not thinking, what, what does that entail? So I come to work and out in front of my office are 50 LX1s on the floor. I say, Mary, what's that? She said, you didn't forget, you're signing those. So I signed 500 LX1s. But what I noticed was periodically, I'd pick one up and I'd go, my goodness, that wood is very figure. And so I, where's Jen? Is Jen here? So anyway, Jen helps manage our Navajo facility. And I said, Jen, what's the story? She said, it's just wood. We use it. I said, Jen, these, those tops are really special. So in, the, in you know, thinking about how can we make a Navajo 50th, 35th anniversary model, talking to Jen, talking to Ramin, who helps build the prototypes, I said, can we put aside some of that really special wood as it flows through the factory? And the funny thing about Bear Claw is when you talk to an aficionado who expects every Martin guitar to be perfect with the perfect wood, one Bear Claw is a problem. Oh, that. That's a problem, one bear claw is not, it's not. But 50 bear claws, it's a premium. Kind of funny. So this bear claw top, made in Navajoa. My favorite figured Sapili Pomelay. Sapili is an alternative to mahogany. And often it's used with a matte finish. Because it's not mahogany, we can't charge as much money. So we'll put a matte finish on it. And a matte finish, you just lose all that stuff. But when you put a gloss finish on Sapili Pomelay, it becomes three-dimensional. The other thing, and I saw this also in Nazareth. I'd be down on the machine room floor, you know, giving a tour, and we're carving necks, and I'm like, hey, that neck has figure in it. Yeah, it's production. I'm like, no, 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 no. You put those necks away. Put those aside, save them for something special. So this is, to me, all right, I'm a car person. And I, I remember talking to Ramin, he goes, Chris, your idea is going to make this the most expensive guitar we've ever made in Mexico. He said, your idea may make this the most expensive acoustic guitar ever made by anyone who makes guitars in Mexico. And I said, Ramin, are you a car guy? He goes, yeah, you know, I got a Triumph, right? Ramin has a Triumph, you have a Triumph. I said, Ramin, BMW. Yes, I, I have an M3, I love it. Did, Ramin, did you know that they're making a new M2? It's kind of funny about BMW where the M2 is the size of the M3 and the M3 is the size, that's a whole different story if you want to talk cars later, I'd love to. The M2, the brand new M2, in fact I called BMW and, and said, wouldn't it be, would you accommodate me with a factory delivery of a new M2? they're making the new M2 in Mexico, right? So I went on the configurator, which I always often do, as you can with Martin Guitars, and I configured my dream M2, $75,000. I said, Ramin, I know this guitar is gonna be expensive. We're not alone. BMW is making their new M2 in Mexico. I'm so proud of, of my colleagues, and I'm as proud of them as I are, am our colleagues in, Nav in Matt Nazareth. They do both do great work. So this is, it's the most expensive Martin guitar or we've ever made in Navajo. And it, I'm not being facetious, it's a bargain. You wanna play this one, Craig?